Hey guys, it's Laurie from Cook's Craft Craft. Welcome back to the channel for another scrapbook process video. I can't believe I've already done 90 of these. It seems so crazy. Um, so yeah, but I enjoy doing them and sharing with my techniques with you. So this uh, layout today is for the Scraptember challenges that have been going on in the Scraptember Facebook group. And every day there's a different challenge. And they are, they're not sketch challenges. It's stuff that's like, um, what have some of them been? You know, scrap a selfie. Um, use a certain product, uh, use your old stash, and today's, uh, the, the challenge that I was doing uh, in this layout was white base. So what I did off camera was I decided to take some Vicki Booten's foundations paper and spray it, or do the packaging technique with some shimmers. I think I used Grape Escape. It was either that or plum pudding. Now I can't remember. Um, but I, I already had kind of an idea in my head of where I wanted the photo to go. And I'm going to be using a lot of washi tape on this one because I'm trying to go through stuff that's in my stash. And I have a lot of washi tape that I rarely use. So I knew that I wanted to do something in the left corner at the top and the right corner at the bottom. So that's where I did most of um, the packaging technique with the misting spray. And um yeah, I probably could have recorded that and shown you more about like that specific technique, but I didn't do that. So anyway, so my photo is going to go up at the top and my plan is to just create a bunch of strips. I'm sorry that the camera keeps moving. Um, every time I bump the table, um, cause my camera is attached to the table, it makes the table <laughs> move. So sorry about that. Maybe I should be less of a, uh, less of a violent scrapper use gentle motions or something. So my technique here is just to make strips of washi tape, like how I would do strips of paper or using the branding strips of pa of paper. Um, but I'm going to do that with washi tape. So I just grabbed a bunch. That's, I think, pretty much all the washi tape from my stash, actually. Although I do have some Vicky Booten, but like that I consider, that was a recent purchase, so I consider that like the good stuff. And I want to go through the older stuff first. So I just kind of grabbed a couple um, that had colors on it that I thought would work well. Like nothing is really matchy-matchy on this. This is just kind of a hodgepodge layout. And it's also really, it's also a really great one for using up my stash. So if you have a lot of washi tape, um, you know, just like, just mix and match it and go crazy with it. And don't worry about like if the colors are all perfect. I mean, the, the misting spray was purple. So I kind of wanted to do some things that would go with purple. So there's like a purple washi tape at the top. It has some pink and some like yellow in it. Um, so I have some yellow washi tape. I have some with that's white with gold butterflies on it. And then the, the green chevron, there is a little bit of green um, in some of the embellishments that I end up using. So yeah. Um, so I did a cut apart from, I want to say it was an Amy Tangerine page paper. Um, and it has, a a plant on it. And since this is a photo of me in front of a flower wall, which was taken at a Nintendo event in New York at the beginning of the year before all the, the COVID madness started, I kind of, I, I wanted to pull, um, flowery stuff, floral stuff to kind of go with that. Um, so again, I'm just pulling a lot of random stuff from my stash. Um, those were actually old planner stickers. I didn't use them in my planner, but I like them for scrapbooking, especially because some of them have word phrases on them. So that's always a good place to start if you're, if you don't really, um, if you have like extra bits and bobs, you know, just pull them out for a layout like this and, and see what you can make work. Um, I also have some Cheeky Studio um, die cut pieces there. So that label piece is from Cheeky Studio's collection. Uh, a lot of the die cut flowers are also from an old Cheeky Studio collection. They don't make the product anymore, unfortunately. Um, but I, I did really like working with that product when I was on their design team. And those are just old like American Crafts uh, chipboard symbols. I think they came along in a in, in like a thickers pack, but I used all the letters. So I just had some of the little florals and, and different shapes and, and whatnot there. So I kind of like the way this is looking up at the top. So I'm going to stick it down and then I need to figure out what I'm going to do at the bottom. And the bottom definitely kind of threw me. 
Um, normally if I, this would definitely be a great design if you have two pictures because you could do the top picture at the top and the second picture at the bottom, but I only had the one picture and I wasn't totally sure what I was going to do to sort of offset, um, offset that. I didn't want it to just be the washi tape down at the bottom. So I'm, I'm kind of figuring things out, finishing things up here at the top. And then you can see I have two of the die cuts down at the bottom. And I kind of like, you know, I was going to just use all of those, but I felt that it was a little too, it was too much from one collection. And you can see up at the top, I'm mixing and matching a lot of different collections. So I still wanted to have that same feel um, down at the bottom. And I'm also using a lot of different adhesives. So that's Eileen's Tacky Glue. I used foam squares to pop up the little flower there. Um, and then I've got my regular double-sided adhesive squares. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to create a cluster with a bunch of different um, flower pieces. I was really trying to use up um, those succulent pieces. Those are, I think the collection was called Sweet Succulents. I really wanted to just use those up and be done with them, but um, it just wasn't really working to have all of them together because they were all kind of the same size and the same type of plant style, and it just wasn't liking the way that was working. Um, and then I'm using something from the Cheeky Studio Wishes collection. Those are just labels that I've had, you know, for two years, and I'm going to use those to do some journaling. So I'm kind of I'm kind of getting distracted, which I'm sure happens to all of us, um, because I know that I want to do some label things, and I was thinking maybe I should put the journaling down there, but then it would maybe look too much because the journaling spots are like little paper strips, and then you've got the, the washi tape strips. So I wasn't totally in love with was trying to figure out where those should go down there. So I just cut some out and I put them aside and I said, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to create my little embellishment cluster and then I'll figure out the labels, um, once I'm done with that. And then of course I've, I put the labels up at the top there because I did, I did, um, it just seemed a little too white. There wasn't any of the misting spray kind of over there. So I just wanted there to, I wanted to, I wanted it to be full looking. Um, yeah. I think that's that's why I ended up putting them up there. Um, but I am going to glue down right now all the pieces at the bottom. And again, for that for fullness, um, to kind of mimic the fullness up at the top, I am going to add more of those American Crafts thicker sticker, thicker, um, I guess, chipboard stickers, because they are the flowers. Um, and I also have some like glittery flower stickers um, they're kind of like transparent, but I'm going to add those in as well, just to kind of create a big old embellishment cluster. Again, I'm going for fullness. Uh, and I wish that I could like explain the, the thought process or maybe the technique a little bit more than just like, I wanted it to look full. Um, and, and I wanted to use up stuff from my stash, but that's kind of, I don't know. Sometimes I don't, I don't have like a, there is no thought process sometimes when I'm going through all my scrapbook stuff. I'm just kind of like, oh, you know what? I want to do this here because I want to. And it's got pretty much going to be it. I'm not sure if I film me doing the writing in the journaling or anything. Um, but just real quick, the Scraptember challenges are still up in the Scraptember Facebook group, which I will link below. Um, there's still time to play along with the challenges. You're not I don't think we're playing for a prize or anything. It's just something to to do this month, and I really enjoy it because it's been getting me to make at least one layout a month, or one layout a day. So I'm sure they'll keep the the prompts up um, all year long for the rest of the year. So I mean, you can even do a scrap timber in October if you wanted to. It's all up to you. Um, or just pick and choose some of the prompts that you like. If you find yourself in a creative slump, you can just say, oh, you know what? Let me check and see what these prompts are and just pick one that you like. So these are the close-ups. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up like and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on another processing video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!